Okay, right. Okay, so um, when you say you want you want to discuss smart contracts, is that um, you, you're hoping to inform us, or you're asking a question about it? Um, I can share a little what I know, but if anyone's got anything else they can share. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah it, it's um, right. I'm going to be a bit bad and and let you start off because you know there's a possibility you know more about smart contracts than I do. Um, I I I sort of get it, but um, I might not have accurate terminology. So. Um, yeah, how do you understand it? And yeah. uh, I don't think I've got any terminology at all. All I know is it's making me passive income. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? I was thinking about that actually because um, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, that is good. What have you been up to? What have you been doing? What, what have you been doing to get? Passive? So basically, um, because I've I've been um, sort of plugging into Mike and Curtis. Yeah. It informed my decision to to do the smart contract, but it's not from I am. It's from somebody I know. Yeah. Um. So it's a BMB smart contract. Yeah. So you, you link it to your um, either Trust Wallet or MetaMask. Yeah. And basically, it's like a yield a farming yielding sort of thing. Yeah. And. Um, it's a contract that you can do for either seven days, 18 days, up to 30 days. Mm. And you get up between 7% uh, a day um, to about 8, 17.8 a day to up to 243 over the 30 days. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you um, get BNB and turn it into a smart chain BNB and invest and then you get your you get the um rewards back so which so, yeah. which, um, which coins are you doing with that with it, it's just bnb oh just bnb oh okay yeah okay that's interesting mm. um and is there anyone here who um the term smart contracts is is completely brand new to them um, if you can maybe give me a two, if that means absolutely nothing to you. Or it's the first time you've heard about something like that. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, I'm actually I'm actually quite glad you're the one who said that because, um, right, so Sean here, I suspect, although I could be wrong, but I suspect um, he's the most um, embedded person when it comes to hyperfund within this room this evening. <laughs> I'm not going to rat you out, but I, I have my suspicions. <laughs> so, so, and the reason I'm glad that you're the one who asked the question is, <clears throat> um, as some of you may know, I was extremely skeptical about hyperfund. Mm. until I started looking deeper into the smart contract stuff, the stuff that um, uh, Mike and, and um, Kurt are, you know, you know, the stuff that Mike and Kurt are doing. Yeah. And do, do we, so, you know, the, as I got into that, mm -hmm. I, I started looking at Hyperfund as um, part of DeFi. So... Um, although you might not realize it, Sean, you're actually kind of doing that kind of thing, but in a slightly different way. It's all part of decentralized finance. So anyway, okay. what, so what's so basically all it is is it's basically you, various ways of um, and like I said, my terminology might not be correct, but it's various ways of using cryptocurrency as basically you know there's there's a term that's banded around so much and you know. You, you hear it, but you don't necessarily absorb it. And I mean that as a group, you, we, Royal We. Um, when, we're in, when we're in crypto, we, we are literally our own bank. So okay. instead of giving our money to the bank in ISAs and all this kind of stuff, we're doing it ourselves. We're in the crypto ecosystem and it's, and it's happening in various different ways. So Hyperfund is just one of loads of ways of doing this. So basically a smart contract 
And like I said, I, I don't have the, the definitive definition. So I'm, I'm, I'm partly learning from you, Denise, but um, it's, it's um, how do I, it, it, it's the way that I look at it is, um, you know, and at the moment, Ethereum is the king of that. It's basically a cryptocurrency that is so versatile that it can be used for, for, for lots of different things. Um, now, Binance Chain is kind of copying, because I think with the Binance Chain smart contract, you have to use Ethereum, don't you? Am I, am I correct? Or, or is it one of those that's bypassing Ethereum? I don't know if you know the answer that, to that, Denise. No, you don't need Ethereum. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, and the fees are just ridiculously low. It's like 16p. Right, and that's, and that's why Binance... And it's just Binance. It's oh. just marvellous. So, they, so they're doing it... Okay, okay. So they, it's an alternative to, to Ethereum because the gas fees are so low. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so basically it's... So the way I'm understanding it is using cryptocurrency uh, with technology embedded in it that you can use it for all kinds of different utilities. And so, like I said, please feel free to correct me, but so the way that I see it is that when you're doing a smart contract, you're, you're, you're giving your money to, um, okay, whether it's an exchange or whether it's in MetaMask, you're, you're setting cer cer certain funds aside and you're creating liquidity for wherever you're putting it. And that liquidity, just, just how banks behave, um, you know, when we put our money in the bank, we're giving liquidity to the banks. So th th those are the funds that they use to trade and invest and make money for themselves. So we're doing the same thing on a, on a smaller scale. By, by tying our crypto in, in this case, BNB, in, in a certain location, we're creating, we're giving them resources to do whatever they may be doing on a larger scale. So basically we're gaining interest, they're, they're making money. And one of the interesting things that comes out of it is that um, so uh, we're gaining interest and loans are actually um, um, given out within, within this as well. And this is one of the things that I'm thinking to myself, I want to go deeper into that to understand more because I want to know, you know, because I'm thinking to myself, if I ever wanted to get a loan, you know, like, like, and I haven't fully thought it out yet because I'm still studying, but I'm thinking if I wanted to get a loan, maybe I'd be better off getting a, a crypto loan rather than a, a loan from the bank. Ah, oh, so you've been thinking yeah. that as well, have you? Then I, um, Nexo is, is another platform that I, I know of. Um, What's that one, sorry? Nexo. Nexo. N-E-X-O. Okay. Um, and they, 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 you use your crypto as collateral yeah. to borrow. Yeah. And um, depending on the level that you are with them, you can be the lowest um, tier with no, because um, they've got tokens and if you have their tokens, mm. um, you get a lower percentage with the um, um, interest that they will charge. Yeah. So I think it starts from 13.9 and it goes as low as 6.9. Mm. Um, so if, if your, um, your holdings with them, if you have 10%, of their tokens as you're holding, yeah. then you get the lowest fee and you get uh, like five free withdrawals um, and other things. It goes on, you, you can find out from the um, website. I can't remember. How is, how, is this, how is this any different to staking? Um, right, so there, there's, um, it's, Okay, uh, uh, there's two bits that I kind of understand, the difference between staking and yield farming. So that bit, I, I'm, my understanding of that is growing. So when you're staking, you're, 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 you're uh, providing one um, cryptocurrency. So you're yeah. holding it in, in one place, but then you've got something called yield farming, where yeah. you, you secure two cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. of, of the same value in, um, you know, let's just say, 100, 100 pounds worth of, um, or dollars worth of Ethereum, and you pair it with a hundred dollars worth of, you know, another cryptocurrency. Yeah, sometimes and it's not even the same. Um, the worth is not the same, but a percentage of each other, because there's oh, one that I went through yeah. called Position Exchange, and they've got, hmm. um, yeah, you can 
um, farm BNB with the position exchange. And yeah. yeah, you get yields for that as well. Yeah. Um, some of them are quite, are quite fruitful. You get about 5,000% of their year. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, and, and, uh, and sorry, going back to Sean slightly. So how is it different from staking? Um, in a way you could, maybe, like I said, maybe there's some nuances, but I think mm -hmm. basically it is staking and it's just another feature that you can get because you're staking. I could be mistaken, but I think it's because you're staking, depending on which crypto you may be staking with some of them or depending on where they are being staked, you have the added bonus of being able to um, get loans on it using that stake as security. That, I think that sometimes they're different. Sometimes it's with, with, with staking, you can take it out whenever, yeah. but a contract has a set time within which, yeah. you know, it operates. And I, yeah. it might be that's, I, it might be that that's the difference. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because I staked cake and I took it out and I didn't have, there was no, well, sometimes there's um, a cooling off period where you can't mm -hmm. take it out. And then after that, you can take it out whenever. And yeah. then there's some that like I'm doing the BNB, <clears throat> yeah. except for whether seven days, 14 days or 30 days. And then you can't do it. You can't change the contract and there's no middleman. You can't do anything mm -hmm. about it until it's done, basically. Yeah, I, I had something similar because um, I've been staking um, Zilliqa for ages and mm -hmm. it wasn't really doing all that well. And I thought, you know mm -hmm. what? So I, I actually liquidated it and it, yeah. took, it took 11 days before I could take it out. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. basically went into my hyper fund, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, you're, you're right. It, it depends on the crypto, where, where it is, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that's, so how, how long have you been doing all this stuff then? Um, beginning of the month. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you've been more studious than I have been then. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome to be honest, <laughs> i i sort of jump in and then i read around it and yeah i think the reason why i i jumped on this was because mm. of the the background um studies that i've been doing on curtis's and mike's um yeah. channel yeah. so when the guy mentioned it i sort of related to it and i could understand a bit of it mm. so it wasn't like oh i don't know what i'm doing not that I knew exactly what I was doing, but I had an idea. Yeah. So it helped me in making the decision to jump on it. And yeah, yeah I haven't regretted it. No, and, and you know what? That it, it aligns a lot with how my mind works because I um, you know, I'll be honest, I'm I, I'm instinctively more of an investor than a trader. Mm -hmm. So all of this stuff is kind of investment strategies and I lean towards those. So so anything that I yeah. I definitely want to learn more about that so I can because yeah. you, know, you get you get some people that say if you've got crypto and you're not staking it uh -huh. kind of like why aren't you staking it and yeah. um there's you know a, a big percentage of my crypto isn't being staked and uh -huh. I'm kind of thinking about you know maybe that maybe I can you know look into that so I am staking more and more of what I have yeah but then you have to balance out the you know the benefits of staking and yield farming versus the benefits of trading. You know, the, yeah. there's a trade. And you know, you know also, it also depends on where you're keeping your crypto. Yeah. I've, I've realized um, on Exodus, yeah. when you're taking your crypto out, um, mm. well, not all of them, because I just took some VeChain out and mm. it was literally no fee at all. But there are some there are some coins that, for instance, you, if you're taking out Ethereum, the fees are just ridiculously high. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you have to personally, this is what I've learned. Mm. It shouldn't be just one place that you're storing your yeah. um, crypto. Yeah. You have to diversify. Yeah. Um, and mm. and maximize the profit that you can get from you know mm. having these coins. Um, b before we go further, is there anyone who feels a bit lost about um, what we're talking about today? Because we're actually quite deep into crypto today. So um, is everyone following um, the topic or does anyone have any questions about what we've said so far? Um, please feel free to say either in the chat or just give me, say, um, 
maybe a one if it all makes sense and a two if maybe um it's a it's quite a bit you know a bit complex for you at this stage oh we've brought them to sleep <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right, no one's saying anything. So hopefully that's okay. Okay, so one. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, well, well, did I, I forgot what I said? Did I say one makes sense or, or yeah? I think I said one makes sense, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I, I think we're on the right track then. Yeah. No. It, it's um. Yeah. I, I think the combination of Mike and um. And Kurt, Curtis is like is awesome. They they just go deep yeah. into that stuff, and yeah, it, it's, it's like I'm trying it diffi very difficult. It's very difficult to keep up, to be honest. Yes, yeah. And I just feel like I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not up to date with everything, but yeah, you know, life too gets in the way. And yeah, in fact, I've not been on any of the lessons this week. Yeah, and I've not caught up either. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I, one thing that I picked up on, on today, what um this week is. Keep an eye on uh, now. What's this one called? Um, oh, what's it called? It's called ZK uh, ZK something. Oh, anyway. ZK. I don't have. I'm not holding any. Um, well, thing is, it, 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 it's it's a it's, it's a it's a change in the technology linked around Ethereum. But basically, uh -huh. um, it's there's there's going to be a development in the technology coming up soon and yeah. if you go onto a particular site mm -hmm. and link your ethereum in metamask there's yeah. a, they're saying that there's a possibility that you can get airdrop you could get what sorry uh, there's a possibility that we uh, you could get airdrops oh okay yeah um oh what's it called um, let me have a quick look Let's see if i've got the page open still I've got a little bit of Ethereum in my MetaMask. Yeah. Um, what is it called? Um, yeah, Z ZK Sync. <clears throat> so a a anyone who's got a, a MetaMask account or even, you know, just to create one, uh, yeah. um, you can, if you go to the site um, zksync.io, so that's zksync.io, and then um, you link it to your MetaMask wallet, and well, you know, say uh, that again, please. S uh, uh, let me uh, let me send the link in the chat. Okay. Uh, where's it gone? <clears throat> well, that's that's the wallet address. I think the site is just zksync.io. Let me just try and type that one again. Um, so so that that's that's the wallet address um but then before you get to the wallet um actually let, let me try it here i've got oh, i'm not sharing my screen am i okay um uh, let me just open my screen Okay, so let me, can you all see my screen? Not yet. Oh, okay, one second. Okay, so I think the site is ZK. Is that case thing? Yeah, this this one here. <clears throat> yeah, so zksync.io, yeah. and uh, uh -huh. for anyone here who doesn't have a MetaMask wallet, um, it's one of the things that they showed us how to do in the academy. Um, it's it's fairly straightforward, but um, I'd I'd say to anyone who's relatively new, no matter what you're doing. Um, always make sure you do the um, how shall I put it? You do whatever it whatever is needed to back up whatever wallet you're creating. It's so important. Um, people tend to get excited and they they don't think about the due diligence. Hmm. So whenever you create a MetaMask wallet or do anything like this, 
during the creation stage, there will be a point where it says uh, you've got like a private key or you know anything along those lines. Make sure you pause and you know make a note of whatever that word is. Yeah. Um, and it always has to be you know it should not be on your computer or online. It needs to be some kind of physical format. And um, and the reason for that is because you know as I've said in the past. You don't know what you know your you know your computer could get damaged uh it could get lost you know anything but you need a recovery scenario in case the worst happens um so yeah that's very important you know you know when you start these things and it's worth you know under 100 pounds or something like that you might not see it as much of a priority but if your investment grows and it suddenly becomes much more valuable you know when the time comes and you can't recover um your crypto it, it's gonna hurt so mm -hmm. please, please always, always, always uh, follow the safety um, guidelines whenever you're joining. You know, it could be a wallet. It could be an exchange. Um, if, if you're joining an exchange, make sure you enable two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. And when you enable the two-factor authentication, during that setup process, there will be a point where it's say, asking you to make a note of the key phrase before you... Um, um enable two-factor authentication is very very important because if you don't do that and you lose access for whatever reason it can be a, a real um, struggle to get reconnected to your account on the exchange so mm -hmm. please always take that seriously um is, is there anyone here who doesn't know what um two-factor authentication is i just want to make sure we're all going at the same pace uh, if you give me a two, if you don't know what two-factor authentication is, please. I think everyone is okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. So th this. So this is one of the things that they've been talking about recently. So yeah. Um, uh, anyone here who doesn't know what airdrops are, um, when uh, when you keep with certain projects, um, if you have a certain cryptocurrency, um, every now and then th th there may be an airdrop. And an airdrop is either you get more of that particular cryptocurrency or you get an um, whatever new token is being released soon and you get you basically get it for free. Mm -hmm. um, I, I sometimes say about Dogecoin, it's, it's like, oh, you know, it's like before the fuss of Dogecoin this year, Mm -hmm. um, I used to get Dogecoin literally by clicking on my an app on my phone on a daily wow. basis. Yeah, and I and I got free Dogecoin at that point. Oh wow! Yeah, but um, that that phone got water damaged, so I lost everything oh. on it. <laughs> I still had some more Dogecoin, but yeah, it, all the free Dogecoin I got on that mobile phone was lost. You know, so oh. no matter how careful you think you might be. Uh, it, I think most people are going to have a story of lost crypto. Um, yeah. it's, it's very important to have the security mindset because, okay. yeah, it's so, it's so easy to slip up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Speaking of slipping up, I still haven't I've said to myself, I need to redo my two-factor authenticator so I can write the recovery phrase. I still haven't done it. Uh, so I've just typed in something to Sean. I think he's leaving. So, uh, yeah, th thanks for coming, Sean. So that, that was rude of me. So can you say that again? You, you haven't enabled two-factor authentication on what? I've, I've, ena I've enabled them, but <clears throat> I haven't um, noted down the... Ah, okay. Recovery, you know, when if, if, I, um, if I can't get into the account and I have to reset it. Right. The two-factor. So what okay. I need to do is to um to um what's the word you um because um until you lose access to the account that you yeah. can retrieve it and yeah so, you it, so what you would do you you if you go into it you won't see it what you'd have yeah. to do is wherever you've got the two-factor authentication uh, you you disable, yeah, you disable it as a, as a security feature yeah. and then when and then you enable it, it you will get a new code it won't be yeah. it, it will always be a different code 
Okay, cool. So that's how you can get, yeah. So disable it, maybe, I don't know if you're talking about on an exchange or something. Yeah, it is on exchange. I've done, yeah. I've not done it on Binance. I've not done it on crypto.com. So oh, you should do it. it. It needs to be on all of them, definitely. Yeah, I have it on all of my exchanges. Um, mm. Crucial. Yeah, that's crucial. Because okay. don't forget, if, if you only use, for example, um, SMS as a security feature, uh-huh. remember one of the things that Kurt says, mobile phones can be cloned. Yeah, yeah. So that's not a strong enough security feature. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Rex, is he still there? Okay. Rex, um, uh, you got anything to say? You're, you're unusually quiet today. <laughs> Only because my son is. <laughs> my son is. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's why I've been quiet. To be fair, I'm so sorry. I'm in, but yeah, um, I'll be, I'll get back to you. One second, I'll get back to you. No problem. <laughs> oh, oh good. <laughs> oh, so what, yeah. what do what do I do from here with the zk oh, thing? Okay, so it, it's um okay. So you've you've got MetaMask, haven't it? So when when yeah. you when you um. So when you, um, it's fairly straightforward. I'll be honest. I I I actually found someone on YouTube. I, I'll have to try and find it. And I mm-hmm. followed. I I literally just followed um, um, their guidance on on how to set it up. Okay. Um, but it's basically what you get to is that I haven't I haven't actually finished doing it yet. So oh, okay. Yeah. So this I've got to this stage, but it's those damn gas fees. But, but okay. to, to be fair, it's gone down a bit because when I first set it up, um, it was forty three dollars. So no. it, yes, I've only so, got one hundred and fifty dollars in my MetaMask. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I, I think I've probably got not much more than you in my MetaMask thing. And so, yeah, so I, you know, I've allocated just you know 0.2 ethereum and uh yeah so the fees were like 43 dollars this morning i said there's no way i'm paying that so yeah it's gone down a bit i'm i'm, I'm getting a bit it's close what, what, i mean okay what kind of fees are you normally prepared to pay when you do um i'm sure i've paid more than that for when i was doing super bit okay yeah and i've lost a lot with super bit but i'm just holding it mm. I, I bought it with like six dollars or something, and, and it's now sitting at what two two fifty or three dollars. Yeah, yeah. And when I did it, the fees were just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's the highest fee you've paid for a transfer? Um, in the thirties, I'd say. Yeah. 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 So, so some sometimes you know what it's. Um, sometimes I've I've paid that kind of amount when I've transferred into Hyperfund, and it's like oh god. But mm. I, but I've consoled myself thinking, okay, at least I'm going to get the daily at some point, so that'll make up for it. Yeah, um, but you know, you know, if you do it from Binance, it's cheaper. Um, explain what you so mean with you know the erc20 and trc20 so the trc20 is a tron network yeah so the trc20 you can get from binance yeah and with that you pay one dollar okay see see okay yeah i should have i should have reached out to some of them because and the who exchange the same okay see i i haven't used the who exchange at all because i've not done any withdrawals so Hmm. Um, I actually when... registered with who um, to, um, yesterday because right. I wanna, I want to get my hands on MVI. What is that? Uh, it's it's uh, what's it, it, the the Metaverse Index. Oh yes, um, Curtis has been talking about it, yeah. and and Mike. Yes, yeah, so, they've been talking uh, about yeah. it. Or oh, so, you can get it from who? Well, thing is, I thought you could, but I I um, it's on there, but. It looks like they have a, you know, you have like spot trading. Yeah. There's another section called something else. And, mm-hmm. but I think it's some kind of incubator for new projects because when I tried to, um, cause I, I, I traded some um, Litecoin 
mm-hmm. to get some um, to get um, um, Teva. Yeah. Uh, so that was in the spot account, but where the mm-hmm. MBI is is in a different section. You know, sometimes you get like futures spot trading. Yeah. 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 So there's another thing in in who with a different name. I've got what it's called. Yeah. They've got. I, I've, I've had a look at it and it's quite. Um... Yeah. But I don't understand what that is yet. So Quite daunting. <laughs> oh, what, you mean futures or that other? I think no, when you look at the WHO exchange, there's so many things on there. Okay, yeah. It's quite yeah. daunting. Yeah, yeah. And and it, the terminology is a bit different as well. So, mm. yeah. So, yeah, so it looks like um, I'm, uh, I'm probably n- not going to be able to get it from there unless I learn something. Um, oh. So... Um, and well, basically, I just need to figure out how to get the um, the tether into there. But I have a feeling it's a kind of incubator section where the money is held for a while. But I could be mistaken. So mm-hmm. if I can't do it on there, then maybe I'll have to do it on. Um, thing is, it's not on MetaMask. I think it's only on Uniswap. Um, I could. Yeah, be, yeah. When, when the, the um, Uniswap and Pancake Swap, it, it just makes it because you then have to look for the contract address to import it to wherever okay. before you can yeah. do it and yeah. i haven't i haven't used uniswap yet so that's I've what used I it once i think it was to get um super bit okay yeah yeah it was to get super okay. bit, but i can't even tell you how i did it <laughs> oh, okay yeah but I, I i definitely would like to get mvi though because it makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay all right that's interesting yeah okay um Okay. Um, so you've got a video that you're following to do this. Yeah, I, I would. Ch- I hope I saved it. Um, re- reach out to me afterwards, and I'll try and find it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you've ever watched out to me, have you? <laughs> yeah. Let, let me give you my number because. Um, I can see you on there because you, when you send your um, on the Bitcoin, okay. route, so I'm sure I can find. Yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. Say hi to me, and then um, um, to remind me. And then, um, yeah, I, I think because, yeah, the video is about six, seven minutes long. OK. Yeah, it's not very long, but yeah, it's um, because in the past, do you know what, what? When when Kurt and Mike have said things in the past and I've kind of like watched the video but not really paid attention. And then mm-hmm. a few couple of months later, it's like, oh, damn it. Why didn't I just act on that and I've, yeah. got, I've got that feeling about MVI and about this- MVI. well <laughs> it, it, it's going to blow up I'm sure yeah I'm yeah sure. so I'm thinking to myself I need to be more proactive more often when they give th- these suggestions especially when they repeat themselves over more than one um, yeah. session so yeah so yeah um yeah um was that was that for me once so yeah I don't I don't want to be um uh, <laughs> I don't want to miss out again <laughs> yeah no. miss it again yeah um okay so um imagine those who have been with them for at least a year or two so i said again i said imagine those who have been with curtis and mike for a year or two well thing is that's the thing because i started listening to curtis around christmas last year oh wow but i didn't act on oh god you know so it's like so he was talking about all these projects and i was you know, just watching the video like it's a TV program and not mm-hmm. not on it. And yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, God, why did I? So so now I'm more proactive when when they give yeah. the suggestions. Yeah. You know, I'm more proactive. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch. I spe- the, the, the I think the one I probably regret the most is um, uh, uh, helium. Helium, yeah. yeah. Because I knew about helium before they mentioned it. And I did wow. nothing. and then they mentioned it, and I did nothing, and then like ah, you know, so yeah, yeah, there's, and there's a couple like that. So I've, I think I've, um, I've learned my lesson. So I'm mm-hmm, more mm-hmm. proactive now when they give their suggestions. Yeah, but um, but then even even then, um, the to be the other thing you have to be careful of is you know you you, you have you you know I'm not at the level where I can put a big chunk in lots of projects. Mm-hmm. So even though I'm more proactive, I don't nec- I don't go for everything that they suggest because yeah, it, you have to be strategic. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah. Because in in the early days, it's like um, I used to cut uh, I used to cut you know put twenty quid here, yeah, quid here, and yeah. and because I'd had them for a long time, mm-hmm. the profit was percentage wise was awesome. 
Mm-hmm. Because my initial stake wasn't that big, it was nice. Yeah. You know, you get a couple of hundred, but it's like, yeah. If I'd had a bigger stake, yeah, it would have. Whew, you know. yeah, it's true. I, 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 I'm with Engine, for instance. I, I think I've, I've got about 20, 20 pounds worth, and now I've got about eighty-three pounds worth. Yeah. So if it was, you know, if it was a big amount, exactly. I'd yeah. Be laughing. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. And and actually, that's actually partly why I I shy away from the the meme coins. So mm-hmm. um, because because you could only, my mindset is that <clears throat> because I can only allocate well my mindset I can only allocate a certain amount, and because I can only allocate a certain amount, um, I w- now I want to make sure that I put a a, a pretty decent chunk into whatever mm-hmm. I'm interested in. Yeah. And so I go for, you know, the pretty safe. I mean, there's no there's no guarantees, but I go for the mm-hmm. ones that I think are pretty safe. So, yeah. when, so when they do um, shoot up, you know, mm-hmm. I get a decent amount because I've invested, you know, a couple of hundred as opposed to, you know, 20. 20 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that's my approach now. So one example, I was listening to um, somebody on Discord and they kept yeah. humming on about the central and the central and mana. Yeah. And I put twenty pounds in. Yeah. The following day was forty six pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh! Imagine if I yeah. put two hundred. Yeah. 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 But of course, I didn't have two hundred to put. So. Yeah. 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 I took my profit, and it's still it's still doing well. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we'll be in a we'll be in a stronger position, soon, you know, because you know, I think I told you my hyper fund strategy, isn't it? um i remember you saying something but i don't think i paid attention well because the way that i'm doing it is uh i if 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 what if any of my cryptos is doing particularly well i put a slice in hyper fund or if yeah. i think it's not performing that well i will mm-hmm. reallocate it into hyper fund then mm-hmm. you know, when it comes to the point where i'm getting payouts mm-hmm. yeah, that will be the, that would be um, a, a, a decent chunk of the resources that I will use. Yeah, and that so one too stable. Go back into projects. Yeah. So, yeah. I, 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 so I would go back and forth. It's not mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. go back and forth. And then that's, yeah. then I'll be able to put bigger chunks into whatever um, projects um, grab my attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good strategy. Yeah. 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 I hope so anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I like, I like your, I like your dedication to the, smart contract stuff and all that because yeah i definitely i want to look deeper into that because um because i because i was thinking you know because i have a couple of big projects that i'm going to be doing next year and mm-hmm. i was thinking oh when my crypto gets to a certain point i will cash out but then mm-hmm. i thought to myself you know because from what i pick up from um more savvy individuals they yeah. they 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 use loans to buy things they never use they never go all in yeah, thinking if I, I, think use... I shared I shared a video the other day about someone took. I th- no, it was Mike that shared it on his in- Telegram, and I shared it in the Bitcoin group. Okay, someone called Michael's. I think the surname starts with an S. Okay. Talking about how to, you know, manage your crypto. Okay. And, you know, so he says, never sell your Bitcoin. Always use it as collateral to. Yes. Yeah. Because over time. Bitcoin mm. is going to go up, whereas fiat mm. is going down. Yeah. So um, in the yeah. grand scheme of things, you end up losing if you use Bitcoin yeah. to buy stuff as yeah. opposed to using fiat. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't sell my Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's, uh, well, that, that's not quite true. I would trade, I would trade little bits of um, Bitcoin to buy other cryptos, but... Mm-hmm. Um, proportionately most of it's in cold storage and I never tamper with that but mm. then what's going through my mind is would I be better off staking that so I'm in conflict because my cold storage I know I'm in control yeah so I, I, I don't know I need to think about that because mm-hmm. I feel safer having having it in cold storage you know but yeah, yeah. it's so it's safer in cold storage but then you you can still make it work for you if it's for instance if it's on Nexo and oh. I, I shared, okay. I shared because they they give you I think four percent interest on it, even if it's in cold storage. 
no no if you if you if you um put it on their platform oh yeah that, yeah that, yeah okay yeah yeah mm. yeah that, that that's where i feel i i like having full control of mine so i am a i'm in conflict but then maybe i have allocate a book how and how yeah. yeah yeah but, yeah I love, the, I love the nexo platform uh, because think... what, what i've done lately is when i got um, wind of this um smart contract i had some cake and i was taking it for 70 percent on pancake swap yeah and yeah over time i did make a bit of, <clears throat> out of it but it wasn't significant compared to what um Mm. compared to what the bnb was offering okay and in a nutshell i've made back what i put in um do you have a do you have an affiliate link for nexo yes i do yeah send, send it to me so if i use I it do. i use your one yeah yeah cool mm, okay yeah okay sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning to pay attention when people with experience of something are giving advice. Mm. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. yeah, to be honest, yeah. this next, so, and what else? I knew of MetaMask before I joined DCX because I joined DCX in April this year. Yeah. But before yeah. then, um, <laughs> you know, sometimes when they say when adversity strikes, yeah. you yeah. learn from it. Yeah. And <clears throat> so I don't know if you've heard of Burax. Of what, sir? Burax. No. It was an investment company. I have. I know about Burax, yes. Okay, okay, yeah. So um, someone introduced it to me, and yeah. that's how come I got into the world of crypto, because I had no clue what I was doing mm. when it comes to that. And then I learned the hard way, because I lost two eats. Um, yeah. Um, so from then, I thought, no, I need to educate myself. Yeah. Um, as to how to, you know. Don't brush your teeth. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I, th I think we're all parents in the room at the moment, so we understand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so um, another person was introduced to me and he was actually charging about, about 400, well, 350 a month for this education. Mm. And I had no clue that DCX was in existence. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I paid for a couple of months and I, I, I did learn a bit. Mm. And that's how come I came across um, Nexo and Pancake yeah. Swap and all those things. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> has been of benefit to me, but I, I just wish that I knew that DCS was offering such education before yeah. I committed to those things, but it's all good. I've, yeah. I've made some, you know, connections there that, yeah, yeah it's good. It's true. To and do you know what my position was um mm -hmm. where, where, you know when we had the, the massive crash in march last year yeah um my gut was telling me to buy more than i did right i didn't have the knowledge to back up my gut and i had and i hesitated so i oh. did buy a bit more um bitcoin yeah but not as much as I could have. And mm. if, I, if I'd been in DCX at the time, yeah. I wouldn't have hesitated. <laughs> and, and if I'd done it, I won't say I won't tell you how much Bitcoin I'd have right now if I'd done it. I, I like, oh, like, wow. I'm just like, oh my God, I wish I'd oh. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it, it's um yeah. If I knew if I knew then what I know now, I would yeah. have Hindsight. Yeah, I would have a certain amount, and oh yeah, I'd be in a very nice position right now. So yeah, but yeah, you know, we, we learn all the time. We learn all the time. We learn all the time. But uh, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You know, I because of my crying child, I missed the Nexo plug. I'm on it right. I can see your screen on Kaaba. Um, yeah. in terms of the 
<coughs> one liner, the overview of what what's so good about it. Yeah. Is it is it sorry? Yeah, so it's been a bit. Um, is it mainly regarding the crypto loan side of things, or is it a bit more than that? Well, I can uh, yeah, you, you, the the loan for me, the loan has been um, very good for me because I I can I've used my the little that I've got as collateral, <clears throat> and I've learned, I've taken um, money from them, and because I've got ten percent. Of my holding as the next so which is their their token like bmb or cro right, yeah. cro yeah <clears throat> i get i get the um 6.9 percent um apr instead of the 13 which is higher so yeah it's good and by the time i'm able to pay i would have made more than i'm paying them so yeah so is the and how long is the term what kind of terms do they offer um for a year i think i think it's a year ah, i see and are you saying that with the amount of nexa that's being staked at the same time is that what you're saying well, like no, i'm not staking it you just hold their token okay and right because you hold their token you get um five free withdrawals um the low percentage in interest rate and what else I think in interest to on your holdings. Right, I see. Yeah, I think it's four percent for Bitcoin. It depends on what co um, co um, coin you hold. I think it's four per four, four or six percent for your Bitcoin. Seven, either three or seven percent for your Ethereum. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Do you know, I, I, so I'm doing probably the exact same thing, but on crypto.com. Me, I'm a big believer in crypto.com and what it's doing <clears throat> and how it's effectively sort of replicate everything that Binance is doing, but just has a nicer front cover, if that makes any sense. You know, it's just the user interface is so good and they're so bullish in their marketing and their advertising and the amount of money they're just splashing around. They bought two exchanges today. Um, you know, oh, wow. Staples Center, all the, sorry. I didn't know they bought exchanges. Yeah, so I think these exchanges are on IG. <clears throat> okay. Um, but it was literally an, an article in The Guardian, actually, and I can't right. get to my phone. I will send it to Uncle Albert and then he can ping it to you. Um, yeah. But so the thing is, um, you know, it sounds very similar kind of to, in fact, no. <clears throat> So I was looking into this loan thing, but I didn't look too deeply into it. And I was wondering, is it is it a loan in crypto or is it a loan in fiat for a start? In fiat, in fiat. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Interesting. So yeah, if, I'm just thinking out loud because, oh, okay. well, I know this, is, this has been recorded, but I guess you can do the same thing. So, you know, uh, obviously we have credit cards also. <clears throat> and with credit cards, they have, you know, depending on... Uh, one second, you are on mute. Uh, yeah, if we're gonna go really, really deep, I can stop the recording because we've done an hour now anyway. So, yeah, let's stop that for now. <laughs> I don't want to too long on YouTube. Um, Absolutely. One, one second. Uh, bear with me. Da, da, da. 